What's up for Osage High School and welcome back to Tribal Review. On today's episode, we'll find out about our latest state championship team. Also on the show, we will have a story about vaping and the dangers that come with it. And also later in the broadcast, I will be joining you with a list of state qualifiers with, for the boys state wrestling tournament. All this and more coming up on Tribal Review. TLC Automotive is an independent family-owned auto repair and maintenance facility that provides vehicle inspections, oil changes, wheel alignment, engine repair, and much more. Open 7.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday, closed Saturdays and Sundays. Giving straight answers that you can trust about your vehicle is what we do at TLC Automotive. Located at 22 East Walnut, Independence, Missouri, call Jim Carlson at 816-833-4411 to schedule an appointment. Hey Fertis Age High School, I'm Aliyah Akers. March is National Athletic Training Month. This focuses on the importance of what athletic trainers do. If you pass by or know an athletic trainer, thank them for their care and support. And I'm Aliyah Barris. Today is Thursday, March 5th, 2021, and here are your top school news stories. For the second time in school history, the, cheerleading, the cheerleaders are state champions. The Fortis Age High School Cheerleading Red Squad took first place in their performance routine, and the Black Squad earned second for their timeout routine. Jesse Kravitz earned the All-State Award in tumbling. The district has used all of the alternative methods of instruction days for the year and recently used three snow days. This now makes the last day of school Tuesday, June 1st. Smoking has long been known to be hazardous to your health, and now vaping has been shown to have equal or worse consequences. Travel Review's Elijah Bernard explores the dangers of vaping in the, this feature story. Vaping impacts the development of the brain. Miss Daniels is not sure about the chemicals you are inhaling in the vape. Um, vaping is an alternate for smoking cigarettes. However, what is in vape, you don't know. There's lots of chemicals, um, so they're saying that, they, that they're replacing the tobacco. Um, however, what they did was replace those, and in the pod, there's many types of chemicals and lots of nicotine, um, so you're really not sure when you are vaping what chemicals you're inhaling. Vaping is bad for your heart and lungs. Dawn feels there are health concerns in vaping. The health concerns of vaping are lung problems, heart issues, and things such as popcorn lung can arise if you've been vaping for a long time. Vaping is less harmful than smoking, but it's still not safe. Kale believes people know that there's tobacco in vapes, but don't think much of it. I feel like tobacco is like people know what it is, but people don't know what's like in a vape. The e-liquid and vapes are usually made of propylene glycol, glycerol, nicotine, and flavored chemicals. These things have a toxic effect on the body. Reporting for Tribal Review, I'm Elijah Bernard. Thanks, Elijah. After the break, we'll have another one-on-one -on -one interview with one of our student athletes. So stay online. We'll be right back. Greg Pulver once said, a customer knows good value when they taste it. And that statement holds true when tasting Culver's delicious Wisconsin cheese curds. Come in or carry out and let Culver's welcome you to deliciousness. Welcome back. We have another one-on-one -on -one with one of our athletes. Tribal Review's Ashlyn Button virtually interviews senior volleyball player Rianne Brandstetter about her season. Hi, I'm on the line with Rihanna Brandstetter, and I asked her a few questions about her senior season. Hi, my name's Rihanna Brandstetter. What's your favorite memory from this past volleyball season? My favorite memory from this year has to be senior night. It was really nice to put four years into a program and just have one night to recognize that. How did you get into volleyball? I got into playing volleyball my sixth grade year when a friend asked me to join their foil team, and I've just continued to play since because I fell in love with the game. What is one thing that you're really going to miss about volleyball? And one thing I'll miss from this season is just definitely playing with the team we had. Thank you so much, Rihanna. I love hearing about your past volleyball season. I'm Ashlyn Bunton reporting live for Tribal Review. 
Thanks, Ashlyn. I honestly feel like it's super difficult to manage like normal classes and extracurricular activities. So for someone to be able to do both and sports is pretty impressive. For sure. Being able to juggle both um, school and extracurricular activities is definitely an impressive skill to have. Ashton Roller now joins us for the Indian Sports Report. Hey Ashton, I hear that the winter sports seasons have almost wrapped up. Yeah, both the basketball seasons teams have, but the wrestlers, they have state coming up, and I'll have uh, the updated results coming up after the break. Big Frog Custom T-Shirts and More is the perfect place to celebrate your smile. Visit the store and choose thousands of designs. At Big Frog, you can set up your online pop-up shop full of custom apparel. You can design a line of apparel, select your sale price, and customize how long your pop-up shop lasts. There are no setup or design fees, so you can get as little or as many shirts as you desire. Come and set up your pop-up shop today at Big Frog located at 2100 East Jackson Drive in Independence. Hey guys, I'm Ashton Roller with the Andrew Sports Report. The boys basketball team competed in the Class 6 District 15 tournament at Liberty High School on February 27th. The Indians lost in the first round to Liberty North, 76 to 46. Braden Popberg led the team with 16 points and Arthur Wyatt added 12. Wyatt led the Indians with six rebounds while Popberg trailing closely behind with five. The team ended their season with a record of six and 16. The girls basketball team also competed in this class six district 15 tournament at Liberty High School on February 27th. The Indians lost in the first round to Truman, 57-25. to Kalen Ward led the team in scoring with 10 points, while Brooklyn Gilpin added 6. Kennedy Thomas led the Indians with 7 rebounds, and the team ended the season with a total of 3-19 and record. The boys wrestling team qualified four athletes for the state tournament on February 27th. 160-pounder Jeremiah Phillips took the championship at the Class 3 Section 4 tournament. Ronald Mansfield came in second at the 113. Jesse Newton finished third at the 152. David Hawkins in third in the 190 weight class. All four wrestlers will compete in the state tournament on March 12th and 13th at Cable Dahmer, Cable Dahmer Arena in Independence. Well, that's all for Indian Sports Report. I'm Ashton Miller. Aaliyah and Lillian will have more news after the break. TLC Automotive is a local, fast, and great way to get your car fixed. TLC offers oil changes, brake checks, vehicle inspections, and much more. Contact Jim Carlson at 816-833-4411 to schedule an appointment. Welcome back. Instead of our usual TomTom Tom talk for this week, we have a profile over at Nia Henson. Anaya Henson is a talented singer and won a local talent show last fall. Reporter Hannah Adams caught up with her and a few friends to find out what it's all about. I remember when I lost my mind. There was. What do you mean? When Anaya won the K2 Superstar Award. She feels very rewarded after winning. I think for me, was just seeing how we overcame the pandemic. Like, we did have to po postpone for a minute, but we were all able to come back together and figure things out and record and just to have the relationship with the coaches and the other contestants around you. Anaya has been preparing for this competition for over the past year. Jonathan believes she is really deserving of this. I don't know her like too personally, but just like seeing her in choir, like just giving like so much energy, it's like it really compels everyone just like amp up uh, during like uh, choir practice. Anaya has also been in choir since she was a freshman. Mallory enjoys having Anaya as a friend. She's super hard working. She's super dedicated to what she wants to do. She has her whole like goals and life set out and I think that's really inspiring. Anaya is also part of Touch of Class. Reporting you for Travel Review, I'm Hannah Adams. Thanks Hannah. I feel like Anaya is a super talented singer and she's just amazing overall, just in my opinion. It's nice to see someone from our school excel in the way that she has. Yeah. The Scholar Bowl team competed virtually in the Washington University High School Academic Challenge on February 27th. It was a tough tournament for the team who finished 1-6 and six on the day. 
Hybrid students will be returning to in-person school four days a week starting March 8th. Currently, virtual students will remain virtual, and Friday will still be a virtual day for all students. If you're looking for more news and information about Fort Osage High School, you can always find additional coverage at fohssignal.net. There you will find stories about the students and activities of the school, so check it out today. Well, that's it for this episode. I'm Aliyah Akers. And I'm Lillian Bears. And I'm Ashton Miller. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.